let me welcome Stefan Taylor and Wasim Dabusi to E is equal to MC square. Welcome Stefan and welcome Wasim. Thank you very much, Joy. It's a pleasure to be on here with you. Thanks, Joy. It's always a pleasure to chat with you and also to Wasim. Great to be part of this amazing project. Thanks, guys. I love it that we've collaborated to bring the single most effective way for time and energy poor professionals to increase their abundance of energy. So here's my Q&A with you guys right now. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll into this knowing that we're talking about creating energy for energy poor professionals. And I consider myself a professional, as you know, and you know my journey. That's how we've all connected and got to this. Can you guys share with us a few steps that any, any professional who feels that they're dragging themselves a little bit on a daily basis, what would be the steps they need to take in order to get to a single most effective way to increase their abundance of energy? Absolutely. So the very first step is accepting that there is another way. A lot of people that uh, I work with, I'm sure Wasim is the same, is they don't feel there's another option to them. So talking from my niche perspective, they want to return to having the energy they had before, but ultimately it's about accepting that there is another option, which will give them exactly what they want if they choose to do so. So the first step is for them to accept that there is another option for them to follow. Brilliant, brilliant. And once they've sort of accepted that, that there is an option, what becomes the next natural second step? So for me, the next natural second step is going back to the mindset, making commitment and understanding that if you make a decision that you're going to have more energy and having the intention to do that is the first step to allowing your mind to find ways to actually have more energy. For example, when I go to sleep every night, I make the intention to wake up at 4.30 in the morning, to wake up with an abundance of energy, to wake up motivated, to wake up inspired, and to wake up with the view that I'm going to seize the day. By doing that one single small intention at night, my body automatically wakes up as soon as my alarm bell goes off, it remembers the last intention I did, and then I'm out of bed, and I'm out there, I go to the gym, and I train, and I start my day. The other important thing when it comes to those people, like Stefan said, understand that there is another way. And as we get older and our hormones and our body changes, we don't need to rely on external sources like caffeine and energy drinks, which has become so rampant in, with professionals because that's what they rely on to get energy.